Hello everyone, welcome in Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah. Today we're doing a flip through. Got my new uh, Crochet World magazine in the mail. This one is for February of 2022. Looking ahead a little bit, I guess. It says display until February 21st of 2022. I pay for this subscription, I get it in the mail, so it does generally come early. Um, the list price for the, the news, the newsstand as it were, are there newsstands anymore? Uh, anyway, uh, is $5.99. Uh, in Canada, it's $6.99. You get a substantial discount when you do a subscription through the mail, at least in the U.S. I don't know how their overseas stuff works on this one. But this one is called Amazing Accessories. We all like a good accessory, right? That is kind of pretty little wrap thing she's got going there and I'm sure they will show it further into the book. Little table of contents going there. Well and before we get to that they, they send it in a plastic wrapper which I took off already because it's a pain of the tuchus. And because there's a wrapper or maybe the wrapper is there because of these things look at all of these separate adverts and it's all for a, I don't need baby insurance. Okay, I, need, I need no baby insurance. How about that? So for the Bradford Exchange, the Bradford Exchange, the Bradford Exchange, and the Bradford Exchange. Does the Bradford Exchange spend all of their money on flyers and advertising? Have you ever bought anything from the Bradford Exchange? I haven't. I'm just curious. That's just one of those things. But nice table of contents. Um, this is all very slick paper, so sometimes it's hard for me to get it turned. A uh, letter from the editor. Nice advert for Clover. I have two Clover Amore hooks now, and I'm kind of loving them. So, yeah. I guess I have two fancy hooks. I mean, not fancy fancy, but, you know, fancy enough for me. All right. They're starting us off with an easy one today. That is kind of cool. They're calling it the Wangari Cow, and this is the Beginner's Luck section, whatever that means. Uh, they're doing it in a worsted weight, and they're saying use Knit Picks Full Circle Medium Worsted Weight Wool Yarn. Whew. That's a long name. But, um, yeah, kind of cool. It's got a little button on there, if you can uh, see in that detail. The wool is pretty. I don't know what Wangari means. I'm sure they explain it somewhere in the words in the pattern. Oh, now these are cute. Heart Cottage Tags. Now this is using a one super fine, but they say it's easy. I guess it's easy presuming that you have your eyesight and uh, some really good manual dexterity. They are super cute though. I think that, oh yeah, somebody, it says right on here, these adorable little tags make the perfect stash busting project. Use them to adorn presents or string them together for a super cute garland. Yeah, I could see that. Um, and of course on the opposite side, they've got adverts for thread. This is another, uh, they're calling it an easy. They're, it's number three out of their six. Uh, using a three weight yarn. Thank you, I can use a three, I like a three. And this says it's a one skein project. It's the Cold Snap Clutch. And they're calling it Cold Snap. Let me show you the picture that's on this side here without giving away to the pattern. Um, yeah, you flip it over and you put a snap on it. One of those little magnetic doodahs. That's pretty cool. They're using hipster cotton in that. And I could, I mean, I like the black and white and the gray, but I could really see that being super colorful. Yeah, I'm telling you about uh, subscribing to the magazine two years for $22.49. Their things fall out of the book the whole time. Here's another easy one in a three, lightweight three, in a Circulo Yarns Natural Cotton Sparkle. Brazilian Virgin Cotton. I don't know why they have to import their virgin cotton for Brazil, but okay. Anyway, that's nice. It's a placemat. And you're holding two strands together, so I don't know why you'd use a three, I guess, to use that yarn specifically. But I think you could probably make it out of a four weight, not so fancy virgin cotton. Make it a little cheaper on yourself if you're wanting to do that. I'm always on, on, on the hunt for a bargain. I am, uh, uh, as the hubby will say, frugal. Yes, absolutely. Here is something called, and they're saying it's moderately challenging. Boy, I'll say. 
it's really pretty. This is called the Marina Doily. 10 inches in diameter. They're using the Skipjes. Is that how you say it? Sheep G's? Skipjes? Okay. Uh, Maxi Sweet Treat Lace Weight Crochet Cotton. Yeah, it's a zero lace weight. It is really, really pretty. It's a beautiful pattern. The nice lace, and they say to block it and all of that stuff, too. But, oh, it's so tiny. Not teeny like my cat boy. Just super, super tiny. I mean, pages don't separate. Oh, now this is nice as well. This is also in crochet cotton. It's some fillet work. Look at that. That is the heartstrings towel edging. Do people still edge towels? I remember that's something that was, you know, from my grandmother's generation, they used to do that. I mean, maybe it's coming back because I've seen some in patterns now. Oh, here's another zero lace weight pattern. Y'all are killing me here. That is really pretty. That is called the Tulipen Doily. That almost to me looks like a snowflake. So you could totally use that as a winter project instead of doing it as spring with a spring color, I think. Again, zero lace weight and it is an intermediate pattern. More adverts. Holy cannoli. Back into uh, lace weight stuff. This says it's an intermediate and I can believe it. You are actually making this. Okay. Look at the detail in that square. Yeah. Lace weight. Beautiful multicolor lace weight stuff, but that is just too small. My eyeballs don't like it. Oh, here's another one. There are multiple kinds of squares in this. I kind of like the design of that square. I can see that being done in a three weight and just, you know, being bigger. Um, yeah, that could be kind of fun. And they give you a grid as to how to lay out your squares and all of that good stuff, of course. And you get a grid for your towel edging as well in here. More adverts. The only thing about Crochet World, because it's an Annie's product, you get a lot of Annie's adverts in here, which is fine. They're always beautiful adverts, but come on, show me the not money. Here is something in a three lightweight, so that's a weight that most of us can handle. Out of Red Heart Sport Light light worsted weight yarn. I didn't know there was such a thing. Red Heart Sport? Why is it called Sport if it's a three? Y'all are confusing me. This is called the Heirloom Aran Afghan. Probably Aran because of the color, but there's cables and everything in this. They're calling this an intermediate, and I would definitely agree. Intermediate to just, you know, not as beginner as these hands are, but isn't that pretty with all of the cable work and stuff? That's gorgeous. I can see someone with some skills putting this down and it just being beautiful. And with that, yeah, you, you need to just keep a single color and let those stitches shine. Here's another intermediate um, in a lace weight. Again, come on, crochet world. It's beautiful to look at, but I can't do it. That is so pretty. You make the motifs and you put them together. It looks like you put them together as you go looking at this quickly but it's super pretty but that ain't happening in this household here's another lace weight come on y'all diamond fillet tablecloth this is an intermediate an intermediate and in lace yikes but it's beautiful look at that that is stunning it's gorgeous it's classic would take me like a million years to do but it's so pretty and they give you a grid for how to put together your stuff of course crochet world is always pretty good about giving you the words some pictures and a grid if one is warranted this one is done in a five weight much better than lace weight right um it's a four intermediate and it does uh, it's using permit Premier Serenity Chunky Solids. This is called Days Gone By Lapgan. That is a pretty little pattern there. I'm not sure why it's an intermediate though. Maybe because there's that clusters of chaining together and stuff. Here's a one in a four weight. Now we're getting back to more normality here. Legacy Afghan and Pillow. 
Um, the afghan goes to, uh, measures up to being 46 by 65 inches, of course, excluding the fringe. You shouldn't leave your fringe out. Come on. Um, and the pillow is 12 by 22. That is really nice. That's another one where you want the texture to speak and not like colors blaring out. And I'm all for colorful stuff, but the texture on that is really, really pretty. Okay. Ooh, extreme close up of the texture, y'all. Cable work. Yeah, definitely. A uh, little advert for Knit and Crochet Now, which is on PBS. Uh, back to the zero lace weight. Keepsake bowls. It says they're easy. That is really pretty. That really is. It's pretty, uh, but it's in a lace weight. Then I think you got to starch them and all that stuff. Gorgeous stuff. A uh, bunch of articles here about in the world of crochet, the unique designs of Maria Vlasova. And it talks about some of the stuff that she does. Here is a cardigan. We all love a good cardi, right? This is called the Mochaccino Cardigan. It's an intermediate. It says one size fits most. No, I'm sorry. If something fits her, it ain't fitting all this. Yeah, one size does not fit all. So sorry. But it's using a three weight yarn Lion Brand Comfy Cotton Blend, which I actually have some of, but not in that color. You know, th that does make a pretty pretty little cardi, though. That nice little bobble texture on there. I don't think it's a bobble. Whatever they're calling it, it is really cute. So it's nice. But don't try that one size fits most thing because it doesn't fit most of this. Here's something else. Oh. And everything has been getting into bobbles lately. Ever since my struggles with the bobbles and gaining all those stitches on the pick and mix cow, I've seen bobbles everywhere. This is called the Amore Tote. That is really cute, but they're doing it in a one super fine. I could see doing that in a three and just making it a bigger tote because that is really, really cute. I love pink. I love hearts. That would totally work for me. It just would. Oh gosh, I'm missing a page. There we go. The hailstone pillow. The hailstones are painful, but that looks comfy. A little bobble texture in there, making a really pretty design. Now they're doing this in a four way. Thank you. They're calling it easy as well. Something I might be able to do. That is really cute though. I'd have to leave off the fringe though. Uh, my teeny Oscar would want to eat it. This, I'm not sure how to say this properly, but it's called the Kalispell Throw. It's done in a five bulky and it's done in Bernat velvet bulky chunky weight yarn. I bet that works up really, really fast because it's only uh, 48 by 60 by the time you're done with it. But that is really, really cute. And baubles, of course. I think baubles are, should have been the name of this. Not accessories, just your world in baubles. And another one that I cannot get to. There it is. I'm going to show you the name of this so you know that I'm not making this up. Okay? Bobbleton Cow. Y'all, stop the baubles before somebody gets hurt. That's cute though, but yeah. And it's out of a five bulky. Okay. That probably works up in like, for some people, like five minutes. But it's an intermediate. Red Heart Soft Essentials Bulky. All right. Nice little decorative piece. It is definitely not going to keep you warm. So I guess that's, you know, hey, spring is coming. Let's bring it on. And I think this is the one from the front, isn't it? Yes, but it's a different view of it. This is the Bozeman Shawl. Look at that. I mean, that's really pretty with the lines of baubles in it. Yes. Okay. The baubles are pretty, but that's a lot of baubles. And this is done in a three. So it's doable by even people like me. Oh my goodness. My apologies. 12 hour days are getting me. Um, it's a triangular shawl. Okay. That is doable. I think even though it's an intermediate, there's some fun little stitches in there, but look at the edging on that. 
That's really pretty. Something a little bit different. Very delicate looking for that. Okay. Let me try to get to the next page. The bob and weave wrap. That's all I can think of with bob and weave. <laughs> but there you go. What did you, you put it around your waist? I'm confused by this. It's a Tunisian crochet. Okay. Instructions given fit women's size small. Changes for medium, large, extra large, 2X and 3X are in brackets. And this is done in a number two fine weight. Yeah, I'd have to extrapolate on that and make it even bigger because your girl's bigger than 2X. 3X. Some 3Xs are like, it's a 3X, but it's actually like a 1X. You know what I mean? Any of you plus size girls will know exactly what I mean. Sizing is not standard in anybody's world, apparently. Except Torrid. I've managed to find that their sizes are pretty consistent across their items. You got in here the graphs for like the hailstone pillow and stuff, giving you a lot of hints. Um, your standard weight system yarn information there. That's always good to know and good to have. A stitch guide for most of the stitches in there. And a skill level chart with all of their bubbles and, and what they mean in there. You don't often see one at number six, which is challenging. Probably because that's really stinking hard. Yeah. I like when they do beginners. Because then I can do this stuff. Anyway, let's see what is next in this book. And I've lost where I was. Because I know there's another page in here. Oh, for Pete's sake. Static electricity is not your friend, y'all. Okay. There is your page of all of the things that are in this book. Gives you a nice little comprehensive guide. You can go, oh yeah, I wanted to do that one. You can go to the page and find it if you can get the pages to open. And look at this advert on the next page. It's an Annie's thing. Oh my God. Kawaii cuddlers and accessories. Aren't they darling? Oh my God, those are so cute. But it's an exciting new pattern book that they're putting out. So, yes. That is the Crochet World for February of 2022. Do you subscribe to it? Um, do you just go out and buy it when you feel the notion to go buy it? I'm having fun subscribing to it. And as I'm getting a little bit more proficient with the crochet, I feel a little more confident looking at the patterns and going, okay, I might be able to do some of this. You know, I'm still a beginner. It hasn't quite been a year since I've been crocheting. So I'm learning a lot. Learning a lot from different cows that I'm taking part in. Thank you, Lisa. Pick and mix cow was a lot of fun. And um, yeah, just learning my way through crochet, enjoying the community. And uh, here I am. So I appreciate you if you stuck around this far, especially. And if you would leave a like before you ventured off, that would be awesome. If you're not subscribed, I'd hope you consider doing so. I've got playlists about uh, looking through the magazines and looking through different crochet books. I've also got playlists for other fun stuff like snacks around the world. So be sure and check all of that out. Hopefully you'll come back very soon because I'll be right here. Thanks. Bye, y'all.